Hey y'all, welcome to Faith Budgets. On this channel, I'll be posting videos about how we use a zero-based budget, sinking funds, cash stuffing, and savings challenges to pay off debt and save at the same time. If that's content that you're interested in, then please keep watching and definitely hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey to financial freedom. Hey y'all, thank you for clicking on the video again today. We're going to do a cash stuffing for the first paycheck in September. If you're new, welcome. My name's Holly. My husband and I both work full time uh, and we uh, utilize the zero based budget method to pay our bills, uh, fixed expenses, and also we do cash stuffing for our variable expenses in our in my wallet and also sinking funds for, for those savings categories that come up all throughout the year and then even beyond that, you know, for the long-term savings goals. Um, and I do use the a budget planner by Missy Money. This is her planner, and I, this is what I'll be referencing to do the cash stuffing with. This is an A5 binder. She has these on her website, and I will leave a link in the description below. If you click on that link and use my code FAITHBUDGETS10, you will get a 10% discount at her store. So definitely go check out her shop, missymoney.com. And all you have to do is just click on the link and it should take you straight to it. Hopefully I did that correctly. Um, I tried to do it in my other video too. So I'm hoping that it works, worked out the way it's supposed to. But here is what I'll be referencing. This is what the paycheck budget breakdown. Uh, paycheck breakdown and cash planning. All in one. So this is for uh, one paycheck, one pay period. After I do the monthly setup first, do the monthly planning, and then I get paid weekly. Well, I get paid bi-weekly. My husband gets paid bi-weekly. But we're on opposite pay, pay schedules, so we get paid weekly. So we we do a zero-based budget for each paycheck that we get. But I, at first, I set it up for the month, you know, so that I know uh, that our monthly bills are paid. And then what we have left after the bills is what I'll contribute to the sinking funds and savings challenges. Um so I'll just have this over here to the side for my wallet. That's what I'll be doing today, cash stuffing the wallet and also uh, binders, envelopes. This will be our sinking funds and then any savings challenges that we have. So I'm just going to stick this over here to the side. We'll have this out of the way. And we'll do some savings challenges at the end. Not a whole lot today, but we should be stuffing. We pulled out $987 from the from our checking account, but my husband got his 150 out, so we are stuffing 837 today. So let's make sure that that's what we have here. So we have one, two, three in hundreds. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 80. 380. Did I do that right? 380. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 120, 5, 10, 15, I'm off somewhere, should be 837. Oh. Should be 817 because we did take a 20 out we stopped and got something to eat after we went to the bank okay so my bad 817 so one two three start over sorry guys <laughs> 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 80 380 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20. 120. Oops. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. Okay, that's right. 8, 17. Whoops. There we go. Now, that's correct. I forgot about taking that 20 out. Okay, so first we'll do my wallet. This wallet is from Missy Money. Go check her out. You can get 10% off if you go use my code and you'll get the a6 zippy wallet and her her envelopes fit perfectly in there she designs these and customizes whatever category you need added on she has the white frosted ones and also the clear ones like this one back here i i, I have my spent envelope back there i forgot to tell her to put spent when i ordered these so 
that one's coming. I now have ordered that <laughs> so that they will all match. Um, so you can customize however, whatever category you would like. I think it holds up to 13 characters is what they will hold. And this is the gold hardware in this wallet with the good size pocket there. And then it has a zipper for your change. And I've already taken my change out. My receipts, I've put them to the side. I have I scanned those into the two reward apps that I use. Uh, Fetch and Receipt Hog. And you can link your digital receipts to that as well. It, it goes by your email. So if you have online shopping that you use with your email, like you do a Walmart pickup, Sam's, or Amazon, anything that you link your email to, it, it automatically loads those receipts in. After you link it, it will load those in. And then any paper receipts, you just take a picture of those, upload it, and you will redeem. You can earn points to that, and you can redeem those for um, cash back. With Receipt Hog, you can get cash back. With, uh, and gift card to like maybe Amazon and then with receipt hall I mean with fetch you can get gift cards to different places target um, restaurants we go to Texas Roadhouse is usually what we use ours for so lots of different vendors that different places that you can pick for your gift card okay so I think that's all about the wallet uh, let's do some unstuffing and see I don't think we have anything left this week <laughs> nothing in groceries gas Oh, yeah, we did have some, and I'm going to keep that for the savings challenges. 10, 20, 31, 2, 3. So 33 for that. Let's put that right there. That's going to be for my savings challenges. Eating out, nothing. Giving, nothing. Shopping. And then medications. I'm just going to roll that over. I'm going to leave that in there. Then we have miscellaneous, kids' activities. I'm leaving that in there. So And then that's my spent envelope. That's where I take the money back to the bank to put in there when I where I use my credit card for our purchases and I take that money out of here or out of the sinking funds envelopes put that in here and keep a record of that that way I know when I'm spending money on the credit card I have the cash to pay for it that eliminates paying any interest on the credit cards I don't I pay it twice a month so I don't have to worry about that okay so let's get let's just start stuffing the wallet now that we've unstuffed it saving this money for the end to go with our savings challenges so groceries will be getting 260 we're going to get two hundreds and three twenties. Doing a little bit different. There we go. So that's two hundred and sixty for groceries. And this will be for my Walmart pickup order. This is uh, food, toiletries, some household items, things like that. So what groceries. And then gas is going to get two hundred. Let's see. And then four tens, four, let's make sure that's 200. Okay, it's all crooked. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 200 for gas, and this is for everything, all our gas, for all of the things. <laughs> all the vehicles, all the lawnmower, the tractor, everything. So hopefully that'll start going down some. Eating out is going to get 60. Oh, but we did spend 20 of that, so that's where it's just going to get 20. I mean, 40. That's where I had forgot to subtract that 20 earlier. Giving will get 45, 20, 30, 40, and 5. 45 for giving. Then we have shopping, which is empty. <laughs> but I, uh, yes, 40. I did two 20s with that. Yeah. Didn't know if I put some different denominations in there. Okay, and then meds is going to get 35, 20, 35, but it has some in here, so let's see what our total is. 20, 30, 35, 41. Okay, 41. It's about time to get my prescriptions, or a couple of them are about to renew, so I'll have to go pick those up. Then we have miscellaneous is going to get 40. I did a 20 and two tens on that. 20, 30, 40. And then kids activities will get 30. So a 20 and a 10. And I have some in there. I'm trying to build this up for the ball season. 20, 40, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. And then my youngest son started um, college, a technical college, and 
he'll be commuting driving driving back and forth so i'm going to try to help him with that if i can a little bit with maybe some gas because he'll his work hours will go down when he starts school full time so that's the wallet that's complete it's ready for the week and ready to go ready to go for the week so let's turn the page here and go to the binders and envelopes which will be our sinking funds i'm only stuffing three this week uh it's a low stuff week so first is going to be sam's this is our spending binder so sam's is going to get 75 so hmm i've done something wrong y'all What did I do wrong? Groceries? Did I do something wrong with groceries? No, I got 260. What in the world? husband needed change for he gave me the hundred back and I gave him 20s oh my goodness I gave it to him out of that okay okay hang on guys let me make change out of my spent envelope <laughs> I'll be right back okay I'm back had to get some change I'm sorry I made change for my husband's money out of my cash stuffing instead of my spent envelope earlier so i forgot about that oh that goes over there <laughs> okay so now we should be ready to go we have sam's and it should get 75 so it should be 20 40 60 75 and we have some in here already so it's a 10 we should have 85 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. 85 in there. And then we have gifts. We'll get 25. Yes, a 20 and a 5. And we have some stuff coming up. I will be needing to spend out of this. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 25, 30. 130. Uh, my grandmother is turning 90, so I am going to go get her some balloons and some chocolate. She has a sweet tooth. That's where I got it from. <laughs> going to definitely get her some candy and some balloons, and we're going to have some cake tomorrow after church. Go visit with her. Okay, then that's all in the spending envelope and spending binder. Next up will be insurance premiums. I think that's in this short term. Yes. And it's just going to get a 10, but it's better than nothing. I've got to get started on this. $10 for insurance premiums. Okay, that's all in the short term. Then nothing for long term. I think that's all for the sinking funds. We have some savings challenges that we're going to do. Um, the first one will be the 52-week challenge. All right, here we go. 52-week is going to be... Week number seven. So let's turn over here to number seven. We have five, six, seven. Put that in here. I think I like it better with that. Okay, so that has the seven. Week number seven done for the 52 week challenge. Super easy. So let's get my marker and we'll color in number seven here. All right. There we go. So we have this one ready to go. I always try to make sure that I have that, at least that money saved, you know, put back each week for the 52 week challenge. This is from Missy Money as well. Go check her out. She has the savings challenges there at her on her page, on her shop. 
check her out for sure. Next up is going to be the 12 month savings challenge. And I started late to this. I didn't start in January. I actually started in July. So I did complete July and August. So now we're on September. And I'm still going to do it just like just the dollar because I'm easing into it and I'm trying to do all these other ones. So I don't want to, you know, take on too much and then get discouraged and not not be able to complete it. So I'm just going to do the dollar. And let's do, let me get my pen. Where's my pen? Go ahead and put this in here. And there are 50 icons there, 50 leaves. So $1. And that will be a total of 50 and let's see, let's do, we're doing $10. I did allocate 10 for that, yes. And let's do this pretty maroon color, I guess you would say. And we'll color in 10 of these. Okay, there we go. Feels like that took forever. But that's such a pretty color. It's like a burgundy maroon color. And the leaves are already starting to change a little bit here. Uh, I'm in Tennessee, as you can tell. I have my orange on today. It's game day. Today is game day for Tennessee Vols. We are a football family here. We love watching football in the fall. University of Tennessee, go Vols. So that will complete the 12-month challenge for for this paycheck so next time we'll come in and add some more hopefully get to complete that out and start that one over again um so now we have some cash that i had left over from gas so i'm going to i have two savings challenges left the i do challenge this is from missy money as well and then i have the one month ahead right now i have basically 11 months to save for this wedding so I'm gonna put it all towards the wedding my son is getting married in next September so I am going to try to help out as much as I can with um, the venue and of course I will be responsible for the rehearsal dinner so I have to host that cater that what you know get all that stuff paid for but then also I want to help you know with giving them a shower a wedding shower and a gift and then uh I think in one of the other more expensive items was the photo and video. You know, they want to have good photos and videos for the for the wedding. And then also honeymoon. The venue decor kind of goes along with the food and drink. So if I don't get to that, that'll be okay. This is my main one. Um, and then invitations. I may not have to help with that. This is just some of them that I put in here that I would like to, depending on you know everything I am I did get a new vehicle so my payments gonna go up so we will see I'm gonna try but we have 10 20 33 we could do 20 there 10 there did I have anything with ones invitations has two mm. okay so nothing we'll just have the extra dollar we'll put that over in my miscellaneous in my wallet so we'll have We'll just go backwards. We'll do the two dollars back here for invitations. Let's color in invitations here for two dollars. What color do we want? I gotta bend that back. <laughs> it stays pretty good once you bend it. Okay. What color do I want for invitations? Hmm. I have no clue. 
She is doing uh, like pastel colors. It's a fall wedding, but she loves the pastel colors. So this, is, I'll just do it a little pink color here. Not sure if it's going to be pinks, but I know she likes earthy tone colors, but she's going to go with the pastels, I believe. So $2 there for that one. Any little bit is going to help. I'm so excited. We are, they already have the venue booked. It's a modern barn venue with the, it's just set up for weddings and receptions. It's beautiful. Beautiful photo ops. It's going to be gorgeous. So then let's do the $10 on the gift and shower here. For the wedding shower yeah 10 there so we'll color in one of these okay so we got three of those done now for the shower and gifts we'll have to you know probably reserve or rent a place to do the shower i think you do it usually like around a month or so before the wedding that's how we do it here in the south oh the last one is going to be the food and drink this will be for the uh, probably like the rehearsal so we'll put 20 on this so we'll color in one more of these i think it was this orange here we have the UT orange <laughs> orange everywhere today okay so we already have in here one 200 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 95 100 300 dollars good perfect yeah 300 that one's moving along I've got to decide what I want to cater, what kind of food and where and all that good stuff. Because I don't want to cook. I don't want to do it myself. I want to be, enjoy it. <laughs> not have to worry. Okay, I think that's it, you guys. I feel like I've scrambled around here today. But we have completed the cash stuffing for the first week in September. And um, did some savings challenges. And hopefully the next check will have a little bit more money to be able to put some towards our sinking funds. That was kind of a light check um, where we had to pay the insurance, the bigger insurance bill out of that one. So it's just kind of how it fell. So it'll fall different each paycheck. Uh, if you stuck around this long, thank you. I hope you guys have had a great weekend and I'll see you guys on the next one.